Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Hi, Good evening, how are you? Teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome once again. Okay, let's begin. Comencemos. Going to share the screen with you. And uh, here. Okay. All right, so um, let's do this. I'm going to call the attendance list now. Just give me a moment because it's loading. Over here. Okay, everybody take a good look. This is English. Pre-intermedio modulo uno, and uh, that's me, Madonia, at your service. Today's session 12, and it's June the 8th of 2023. Now, the attendance. When you hear your name, please let me know. Ada Veronica Muñoz de Fuentes. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Alexis Giovanni Ramos Rosales. Present teacher. Thank you. Alicia Perez Gavidia. Present teacher. Thank you. Blanca Esmeralda Flores Ortez. Present teacher. Thank you. Cecilio Antonio Cortez Escobar. Cecilio Antonio Cortez Escobar. Consuelo Enriqueta Aquino de Salazar. Present teacher. Thank you. Delmi Alexandra Ramos Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you. Idalia Margarita García Cruz. Present. Present. Thank you. Isaac Adbonay Tobar. Present. Thank you. Jennifer Nuset Arevalo Flores. Jennifer Nuset Arevalo Flores. Juan Antonio Brand de Paz. Present teacher. Thank you. Catherine Andreina Perez Cruz. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Luis Alfredo Aguilar Beltrán. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Enrique Palma Alvarado. Luis Enrique Palma Alvarado. Luis Josué Valle Hernández. Luis Josué Valle Hernández. María Magdalena Méndez Méndez. María Magdalena Méndez Méndez. Marina Amaya de Mata. I'm here. Thank you. Marjorie Marilyn Martinez Grijalva. I'm here. Thank you. Miguel Antonio Rodríguez Rosales. Present. Thank you. Nelson Eduardo Alfaro Roque. Present. Thank you. Noé Ezequiel Rivera Medrano. Noé Ezequiel Rivera Medrano. Olivia Raquel Rodríguez Benítez. Present. Thank you. Oscar Alexander Domínguez Herrera. Present. Thank you. Oscar Mauricio Rivera Aguilar. Present teacher. Con el actor Tomate Cometer Pablo Josué Cornejo Ramírez. Y ven. Pablo Josué Cornejo Ramírez. Stephanie Brendalí Vázquez Méndez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. I'm calling those who haven't responded. 
Cecilio Antonio Cortés Escobar. Cecilio Antonio Cortés Escobar. Jennifer Nuset Arevalo Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Enrique Palma Alvarado. Luis Josué Valle Hernández. María Magdalena Méndez Méndez. Present teacher. Thank you. Noé Ezequiel Rivera Medrano. Pablo Josué Cornejo Ramírez. Pablo Josué Cornejo Ramírez. Okay. All right. Uh, again, everybody, welcome. Okay. Um, ya dije esto, pero bueno. This is English by Intermedio Modulo 1, and that's me, Mandoñang, at your service. Today's, uh, this is uh, session, session 12, and today is June the 8th of 2023. Let's do this. So what are we going to do? It's, there's a lesson objective here. Look, in this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation where would for invitations is used when making plans. En esta clase, los participantes escucharán una conversación donde el uso de gustaría o quisiera para invitaciones es presentado cuando se hacen planes. Okay, so take a good look. So first of all, there's a conversation, an invitation, and I want you to listen to the conversation. Then I'm going to ask for volunteers to read the conversation. We're going to check pronunciation. And after that, there's the grammar focus. So everybody, let's listen. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Can you hear that? Yes, yes. Okay. sure. Thank you, thank you. From the beginning. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At 8 o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at 6? Uh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match, around 7.30. Okay. Let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Okay. There's a pronunciation. Page 25. Exercise 8. Okay. Um, I need uh, two volunteers, one lady and one gentleman to read this. Okay. Marjorie and... Uh, okay. Marina, you can also read this. No problem. So, Marjorie, I want you to play Susan and Marina, I want you to play Dave. Please. <laughs> so, Marina, you begin. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I love to. What time does it start? At eight. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at six? Oh, I would like to, but I have to work late. Okay, just let me stop you right there. This is the, the pronunciation of this is. Uh, como cuando lo está pensando, ¿verdad? You say, this is, uh, speaking of which, okay, there are certain expressions that we can use, okay? Uh, this is um, normally when you're thinking, okay? Uh, you say that. Also, there is this one. You say, aha, uh -huh, which means yes. Okay. There's also uh uh, which means no. <laughs> so uh, this is how you pronounce some some of these things in English. Veamos acá, verdad? Cada vez que vemos esto es es cuando la gente le hace ah uh, ah, uh, verdad? Los norteamericanos hacen bastante ese sonido, ¿verdad? Cuando están hablando, ah, oh, ah, oh, dicen cada para, para rellenar, cuando están pensando qué van a decir después. Ok, sí. luego tenemos esta que es, ajá, ajá, means yes. And then we have this one, which is, ah, 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 meaning 
No. And then there is this one. Uh oh. Meaning there's a problem. You say, uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Ah, no sabían todo eso. <laughs> okay. But yeah, it appears in the conversation. Tenemos por acá en el chat algunos que creo que se están incorporando. José Luis Valle se ha incorporado. Tomamos su asistencia. Noé Ezequiel también. Tomamos su asistencia. Y ellos. Ok, nada más por lo pronto. Ok. So, let's continue. Entonces le dice, uh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Then Susan says... Oh, that's okay. Let's meet at the stadium before the match around 7 13. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Mm -hmm. Good, thank you. So, Dave says, I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Susan says, Thanks, I'd love to. What time does it start? Dave says, at eight. Susan says, that sounds great. So do you want to have dinner at six? Dave says, uh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Me gustaría, dice él, pero tengo que trabajar hasta tarde ya. Susan says, oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Dave says, okay, let's meet at the gate. Susan says, that sounds fine. See you there. All right. Do you have any questions about the vocabulary, the expressions, or the pronunciation of any words in this conversation? Miguel Antonio. Teacher is the gate. The gate. La puerta gate. o el portón. Oh, okay. General para puerta Thank muy grande. Okay, that's a gate. Okay. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Jennifer Nusel. Este, sí. Um, ahí donde dice Susan Thanks, ahí lo que sigue sería, está abreviado, pero sería I do. ¿Cómo se pronuncia abreviado? O, o no es I do. I, ¿Qué, I, qué, I, qué? No, es I would. I Second, would. I would. I'd is I would. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué es eso, tío? Es, es lo que vamos a ver ahorita, no se preocupe. Ok, I would. Cuando usted okay. ocupa would con un verbo justo después. Permítanme. Ok, cuando ocupa would con un verbo como I would like, sería me gustaría. I would love, me encantaría. I would eat, comería, okay? I would visit, visitaría. Ese would hace esa terminación en el verbo. En español, por lo menos. Okay, so, gracias. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, so um, any other questions about this? ¿Alguna otra consulta, duda, pregunta? No? Okay, then. Luis Alfredo. The microphone, Luis. Sorry, I can't hear you. Eh, Luis, no le oímos nada. <laughs> Tiene el micrófono apagado. Todo este rato <laughs> ha tenido el micrófono apagado. Okay, no problem. Eh, in, the, in the last para, Susan, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eh, that sounds fine. Eh, me parecía que es este sonido fino. Fine. Good. Fine means good. When they ask you, how are you? You say, I'm fine. Thank you. I'm good. That's the meaning. That sounds fine. Eso suena bien. Okay, está bueno, está bien. That sounds fine. See you there. Suena bien. Mm -hmm. Suena bien. See you there. Mm -hmm. Fine es como bueno, que no tiene ningún problema. O por lo menos nada grave. 
So that sounds fine. So, suena bien. Okay, see you there. Okay, teacher. Thanks. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, um, let's continue that. Lesson objective. By the end of this lesson, participants will comprehend the use of would in questions and answers. Al final de esta clase, los participantes comprenderán el uso de gustaría o quisiera en preguntas y respuestas. Now, here's the grammar focus. Would, verb plus two, plus verb. Okay. Now, would you like to go out on Friday? Sería como, ¿te gustaría salir el viernes? Would you like to go out on Friday? The answer, the short answer is, yes, I would. ¿Por qué es yes, I would? Porque esta es una yes, no question. Y en las yes, no questions, para contestar, para hacer las respuestas cortas, ¿verdad? Usted nada más tiene que fijarse en el auxiliar con el que comienza. En este caso es un modal auxiliary. Pero esa es la clave para contestar. Would you like to go out on Friday? Yes, I would. You can say, yes, I'd love to. Thanks. When you say, I'd love to, that means, I'm going to put it here, I'd love to. That means, I would love to. Se me encantaría. I'd love to. There's a difference between I'd like to and I'd love to. You can say, I'd like to. Which means, let's go back, I would like to, which is me gustaría, right? But then there is, I'd love to, this is greater. You say, me encantaría, ¿verdad? No es lo mismo decir que a usted le gustaría hacer algo, que, que le encantaría hacer algo, eso es un nivel mayor. So, I'd love to, which means I would love to. So, uh, would you like to go, on, to go out on Friday? You say, yes, I would. Or, yes, I'd love to, thanks. Or, yes, I'd really like to go. You can use the adverb really to emphasize it. I would really like to go. Then you have the second question. Would you like to go to a soccer match? But now look at this. This person says, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Me gustaría, pero, y ahí la excusa, ¿verdad? I have to work late. Tengo que trabajar hasta tarde. I'd like to, but I need to save money. Muy cara la entrada. Okay, so I'd like to, but I need to save money. You can say, I'd like to, but I want to visit my parents. Me gustaría, pero quiero ir a visitar a mis papás. Así que voy a aprovechar. So, that's it. Lo que nos preguntaba por acá. ¿Verdad? Contraction, I means I would. Chat entry. Bueno, por acá nos dicen, quiero ver, medio uno. Permítanme. Permítanme, solo voy a contestar por acá, compañero que está tratando de ingresar. Okay, so uh, let's continue. So you have this, would you like to plus a verb. So we use would you like to to invite somebody. Okay, para invitar a alguien. Now you can see it in the questions from the grammar focus. Would you like to go out on Friday? This is an invitation. Okay, this person is inviting you to do something. So you have three examples. Would you like to go for a walk? Te gustaría salir a caminar? Would you like to go for a walk? This is an invitation. Would you like to have dinner with us on Sunday? That's an invitation. And the other person says, yes, I'd love to. That means I would love to have dinner with you. And the last one is, what would you like to do tonight? ¿Qué te gustaría hacer esta noche? What would you like to do tonight? Now look, when you say, I'd like, 
is a polite way to say I want. You can say I want, okay, but that's a little um, not very polite. If you want to be very polite, you can say I'd like. Me gustaría. For example, I'm thirsty. I'd like to drink. Me gustaría una bebida. En vez de decir I want to drink. You say, I'd like to watch the news on television tonight. Me gustaría ver las noticias en la tele esta noche. En vez de decir, I want to watch the news on television tonight. When you say, I'd like, you sound more polite, more refined. Okay? So, there you go. Now, I want you to take a look at this. There's a difference between would you like to and do you like. Two different things. Would you like and... I would like. For example, you have these two people. She says, would you like some tea? She is offering the tea. Would you like? Le gustaría, right? Would you like some tea? And he says, yes, please. So take a look. Would you like some coffee? Means, do you want some coffee? Would you like to go to the movies tonight? It's an invitation. Yes, I would love to. I'd like an orange, please. Quisiera una naranja. I'd like an orange, please. And what would you like to do next weekend? But now look at this. Do you like? A different question. No es lo mismo que would you like. Este es do you like. This is present simple and I like. For example, she's asking, do you like tea? And she says, yes, I do. Would you like some now? And she says, no, thank you, not now. Le gusta el té, pero ahorita no tiene ganas, okay? So again, she says, she's asking, do you like tea? And she says, yes, I do. Do you like in general, okay? And she says, yes, I do. Now, would you like some now? This is an invitation. And she says, no, thank you, not now. So when they ask you, do you like coffee? That means, do you think coffee is good? Si le gusta. Do you like to go to the movies in general? Te gusta ir al cine, right? And the person says, yes, I go to the movies a lot. Then you have, I like oranges in general. Okay, you like oranges in general. And what do you like to do on weekends? ¿Qué le gusta hacer? ¿O qué prefiere hacer, verdad? Los fines de semana. What do you like to do on weekends? Before we continue, do you understand the difference between would you like to and do you like? Or do you have any questions? ¿Tiene alguna consulta, alguna duda? Este es el momento de indicarlo. ¿Podría repetir, por, ¿Podría repetir, por favor, la pronunciación en la contracción con el would? Okay, no problem. Discuss. You mean this? Yes. Okay. You pronounce it I'd. I'd. I'd like to. I'd love to. So the pronunciation is I'd. I'd. I'd like to. I'd love to. You're welcome. Any other questions about this? Alguna otra consulta, duda? This is a good moment to ask. Jennifer Nuset, and then Stephanie, Bre Stephanie Brenda Lee. Sorry, como okay. que no entendí mucho cuál es la diferencia entre uh -huh. uno y el otro. Okay, the difference goes like this. When they ask you, would you like, le gustaría, and when I ask, they ask you, do you like is le gusta? Two different things, okay? For example, she's asking, do you like tea? Le gusta el té, en general. And she says, yes, I do. Aha, uh -huh. would you like some now? Le gustaría que le sirvieran té ahorita? And she says, no, thank you. Not now. Mm. En este momento no se le antoja, ¿verdad? Pero en general sí le gusta el té. Sí le gusta. 
Uh huh. Do you do you do you get the difference? Mm. So, Como so. que tienes es es una invitación. Correct. Que se bueno. en este momento y en la otra como que ya están en la reunión. No, más bien veamos. Cuando usted le preguntan, would you like, le están ofreciendo. Mm. Le están ofreciendo. En este caso, would you like some now? Would you like some tea? Si yo llegara con una tetera donde está usted y yo le dijera a usted, Jennifer, would you like some tea? Le estoy ofreciendo el té que lleva en esa tetera. Ah, okay. Pero si yo le pregunto a usted, do you like tea? Le estoy preguntando si le gusta o no le gusta el té. Uh -huh. That's the difference. Ya, yeah. ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. Thank you. Okay, good. You're welcome. Stephanie, Brenda Lee. Sí, ¿Qué otro significado tiene el wood? Wood. Vaya, wood es un, es un modal auxiliary que se utiliza en eh, oraciones condicionales. Se utiliza en oraciones que se conocen como second conditional y también como third conditional. Y en algunas oraciones que son una combinación del second and third conditional. Sobre todo se utiliza para hablar de situaciones imaginarias o hipotéticas. Pero eso es un tema un poquito más avanzado. <risa> Eso ya va para los niveles intermedios. Por ahí, por ahí lo van a ir viendo. Más o menos por el intermedio 3. Por ahí, por ahí, por ahí. Por ahí va a salir ese tema. Cuando estén viendo conditional yeah. sentences. Uh -huh. oh. Ok. Chat entry. Por acá nos dice Noé. Do you like soda? Y luego, yes, I like. Vaya, cuidado ahí. Acuérdense que el auxiliar con el que comienza la yes no question es el que nos dicta cuál vamos a utilizar en la short answer. Y usted le dice, do you like soda? La respuesta sería, yes, I do. Why do? Because do is the auxiliary at the beginning of the question. So you have to use do also in the answer. If you say it in negative, you say, no, I don't. What happens if they tell you, would you like some soda? This is different. Look, would you like some soda? Then you say, yes, I would, or no, I wouldn't. You see? Okay, so be careful with that. All right, no more questions. Let's do some exercises. Would you like to? What do you say to Sue in these situations? You have to use would you like to and the words in parentheses. Example, you want to go to the movies tonight. You hope Sue will go too. Usted quiere ir al a a cine, ¿verdad? esta noche y tiene la esperanza de que su le diga que sí, ¿verdad? Que, que también quiere ir. So, what do you say? You uh, make an invitation. Would you like to go to the movies tonight with me? Okay, that's the invitation right there. So, what about number two? You want to play tennis tomorrow. You hope Sue will play with you. Qué enamorado, Sue. <laughs> Okay, so you hope Sue will play with you. What is the invitation here? Follow the example. Sigamos el ejemplo. Let's follow the example. Stephanie Brenda Lee and then Maria Magdalena. Sería, would you, would you like to play tennis tomorrow? Would you like to play tennis tomorrow? Or to play tennis with me? Pero sí, would you like to play tennis with me tomorrow? Good, very good. Maria Magdalena, number three. You have some vacation pictures. Sue hasn't seen them yet. Se tiene unas fotos de sus vacaciones y Sue todavía no las ha visto. Así que pregúntale si las quiere ver. Uh, would you like uh, uh, some vacation pictures? 
Okay, nos faltó el verbo ahí. Would you like to? Um, would you like to have? Mm -mm. Would you like to? Uh, would you like to see? Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, vacation picture. Would you like to see my vacation pictures? Okay. If I were Sue, I would say no. Si yo fuera Sue, le diría, no, thank you. <laughs> I find that very boring. Okay, thank you, Maria Magdalena. What about number five? I need a volunteer. Who wants to try this one? Marjorie, you have an extra yes. ticket for a concert next week. You hope Sue will go with you. Would you would you like to a uh, concert next week? Again, would you like to? Would you like to mm -hmm. a concert uh, next okay. week? You have to be careful because after okay, normally uh you say would like to and after that, you have to use a verb. The same thing happens with would love to. After that, you need a verb. Okay? So, in this case, you say, would you like to? No. Come on out, come on out, come on out. Vamos. Vamos, vamos. Two letters. Dos letras. Would you like to? Would you like to? To go? Would you like to go? A concert? To a concert. A concert. Uh -huh. Would you like to go to a concert next week? Would you like to go to a concert next week? Or would you like to go to a concert with me next week? Okay, good, good. Okay, thank you. Number five, it's raining and Sue is going out. She doesn't have an umbrella, <laughs> but you have one. And then you have borrow. What is the meaning of borrow? Prestar. Eh, ok, me dicen para acá prestar y saca Bonai también dice prestar. Not exactly. No exactamente. Ok. There's a difference. Lo dije en uno de estos módulos. No sé si les dije a ustedes o si fue a otro grupo. Bueno, pero igual. There is a difference between the verb lend and the verb borrow. Ok. Hay una diferencia entre estos dos verbos. Pero a veces nos es un poquito difícil comprenderla en totalidad porque nosotros en nuestra cultura salvadoreña, en nuestro uso del idioma español, utilizamos frecuentemente el verbo prestar de forma incorrecta. Eso en general, todo el mundo lo hace. A mí me pasa también. Claro. Entonces... Por ejemplo, la gente dice, mire, yo no tenía dinero, así que me tocó prestar usted. ¿Ok? En realidad eso no es correcto, porque si usted no tiene dinero, no puede prestar dinero. Puede pedir prestado, que no es lo mismo. ¿Ok? Eso es borrow. Borrow means tomar o pedir prestado. Bueno, tomar o Tal vez no pedir, sino recibir prestado. That's the meaning of borrow. Tomar o recibir prestado. And then you have lend, which means prestar. Es decir, cuando usted da algo, prestado a alguien. That's the difference. Entonces, si nosotros dijéramos en español, digamos, no tenía dinero, así que me tocó pedir prestado. Eso es lo correcto. Me tocó prestar, no, porque usted no tenía pisto, no puede darle pisto a alguien más. Okay, así que ahí está. So, that's it. It's raining and Sue is going out. She doesn't have an umbrella, but 
but you have one. Okay. Una oportunidad más para darse a querer con su. ¿Qué le dice usted a su? Utilizando borrow. Luis Alfredo. Would you like to borrow an umbrella? My umbrella, right? Would you like my to umbrella. borrow my umbrella? My uh -huh. umbrella. ¿Te gustaría llevarte mi paraguas? Le dice. Uh -huh. o sea, se lo está prestando. Would you like to borrow my umbrella? Uh -huh. That's correct. Very good. Ok, quiero ver la lista de asistencia. Antes que se me vaya a olvidar. Cecilio Antonio, ¿logró entrar? No, no logró entrar. Luis Enrique Palma. No, tampoco. Pablo Josué Cornejo. Pablo Josué Cornejo Ramírez. Ok. All right, so um, what about the next one? Let's take a look at this. Vamos a hacer un ejercicio acá. Would, and you have two, two plus verb. Respond to three invitations, then write three invitations for the given responses. Okay, so first, they give you an invitation and you need to respond to the invitation. And in the second one, you have the response to the invitation. You need to provide the invitation. So uh, the first one, I have tickets to the baseball game on Saturday. Would you like to go? What do we have? Juan Antonio Brand. Yes, I would. Pueden variar las respuestas. Yes, I would. Okay, you can say that. Yes, I would. Okay, very good. Así de sencillo. I have tickets to the baseball game on Saturday. Would you like to go? You say? Yes, I would. También puede decir, I would love to. Or, I'd really like to. Okay. I'd really like to go, sorry. What about number two? Would you like to come over for dinner tomorrow night? Okay, by the way, that's another expression right there. When they say, come over. That means, come to, usually, my house. It's an invitation to visit a person. Mm -hmm. So when they say, would you like to come over for dinner tomorrow night? That means, would you like to come to my house for dinner tomorrow night? That's the meaning of come over. So. What about number two? Would you like to come over for dinner tomorrow night? Ada. I would you like to. Uh, se le fue una palabra de más ahí. I would. Like to. I would like to. Ah, sí es. I would like to. Okay, I would like to. Good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. What about number three? Would you like to go to a pop concert with me this weekend? You can tell me. Marjorie. Uh, yes, 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 I would. Yes, I would. You can say that. Yes, I would. No problem. Okay. So, um, what about number four? Now look, you have yes, I'd love to, thank you. Okay, now this is a bit different. So what, what do I want you to do? Okay. Quiero que todos, por favor, me escriban tres posibles invitaciones, utilizando su imaginación. Pero fíjense bien lo que dice, ¿verdad? Lo que le responden, por ejemplo, en la segunda. Yes, I'd like to, but I have to study. But, Va a invitar a algo. Yes, thank you. I really like to see it. Lo va a invitar a ver algo. 
¿verdad? Un concierto, un, no sé, una, una exposición de arte, lo que usted quiera. I'm going to give you three minutes, three minutos, okay, for you to write the three invitations. And after that, I will ask for volunteers. Three minutes starting now. Okay. Let's see. What do you have? Number four. Volunteers, please. Marjorie. And then Marina. Um, would you like to go and watch a movie? Would you like to go watch a movie? Okay. Or would you like to go to the movies? You can say. Say, yes, I'd love to. Thank you. Okay, very good. Thank you, Marjorie. Marina, number four. Siempre la número cuatro. Number four. Would you like to take tea this afternoon? Would you like to take to drink tea or have some tea this afternoon? Okay. You say yes, I'd love to. Thank you. Okay, very good. Now I need uh, two volunteers for number five. Okay. Luis Alfredo and Nada Veronica. Okay, number five. And also Idalia. Okay, number five. Would you like to shop in this night to supermarket? Would you like to 
sería en ese shopping. caso go shopping. Would you, like to shopping would you like to go shopping go shopping mm -hmm. well i'd like to but i have to study i have a class to teach <laughs> okay hola veronica number five I have. Tiene que ser diferente o parecido a lo que está ahí. Parecido porque son invitaciones. Tendría que decirme, would you like to? Y luego, ¿a qué? ¿Hacer qué? Uh, yo pensaba, I have a dog. Would you like? To a dog. Would you like to? Would you like a dog? Ah, would you like, le gustaría que un perro. Con... Uh -huh. Okay, would you like to have a dog? Tal vez le gustaría tener un perro. Pero eso, uh -huh. vaya, ahí está el otro uso. The wood que le estaba comentando anteriormente que es para situaciones hipotéticas. Si usted le dice a alguien, would you like to have a dog? Probablemente no le está ofreciendo un perrito. Probablemente solo le está preguntando si le gustaría tener uno, en el caso que tuviera, ¿verdad? Es una pregunta hipotética. ¿Ok? Aunque, si digamos, usted tuviera un, una caja llena de cachorritos, tal vez le podría preguntar a alguien, Would you like to have a dog? ¿Verdad? Ah, vaya, sí, por favor. Ya se lo regala. Ahí sí. Ok. All right. Um, ok, so, well, thank you, Ada. Ok, what about you, Idalia? Number five. Would you like a study... Would you like a study for me? Study for me. With me, perdón. Ah, with, with me. me. Ok. Mm, would you like to study with me? Okay. Um, the grammar is good, but the thing is, the problem is the answer. The problem, lo que nos resultaría problemático sería la respuesta, porque le dice, well, I'd like to, but I have to study, ¿verdad? Me gustaría, pero tengo que estudiar, ¿verdad? Maybe, I have to study for a different exam. Maybe, you can say that. Maria Magdalena. Eh, teacher, solamente quiero que me corrija si está bien estructurada la pregunta en el number five. Ok. Eh, would you like to play tennis right now? Ok, it's good. Would you like to play tennis right now? You say, okay. I'd love to, I'd like to, but I have to study. Good. Ok. That is good. Ok, okay I thanks. need, you're welcome. I need volunteers for number six, please. Number six. Luis Alfredo Aguilar, and then Jennifer Nusset. Number six. Yes. Would you like to see a movie to my house in the noon? Would you, would like... you like to see a movie uh -huh. to would my house like... in the noon? Would you like to see a movie in my house at noon? To my house. Uh, no, in, in my house. In my house. In my house. Would you like to see a movie in my house at noon? You say, yes, thank you. I'd really like to see it. Okay, okay, good, good. Um, who else? Quien más? Pareció ahí Jennifer, quería participar. No. Sorry, Sa teacher, la, la misma tenía, así que por eso me <laughs> tomando. <laughs> okay, okay, no problem, don't worry. Okay, Isaac, Isaac. Este, algunas se parecen, la verdad. Okay. Uh, And uh, cuatro, little eight. Would you like to go to beach with me next week? Yes. Yes, I love to that. Yes, I love to. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And las cinco. And the five. Would you like to go to travel a Guatemala tomorrow with me? Would you like to travel to yeah. Guatemala with me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Este, well, I like to, but I had to study. Mm -hmm. In the sex, and I say, perdón, would you like to watch a movie? Uh, yes, thank you. I really like to see it. I'd really like to see it. Okay, well, thank you, Isaac. 
All right. Cool. Um, anybody else? No more? All right, let's move on. Lesson objective. In this lesson, participants will read an article about a singer. Scanning for important information will be developed. En esta clase, los participantes leerán un artículo sobre un cantante. Análisis de lectura será desarrollado. And that's the last part. We're going to read about Christina Aguilera. Okay, it's Christina Aguilera right here. So what is that? Uh, we have the article and then we have this other exercise. So Christina Aguilera. So scan the article and look at the pictures. Okay, uh, I'm going to read the first part and then you will help me read the timeline. So, so far, hasta ahora, so far she has multiple hit singles. She has fans of all ages around the world. And many people say she is the best singer of her generation. She is Christina Aguilera. So here are some highlights of Christina's life and career. This is a timeline right here, 1980. Volunteer, please. Can you 1980. So like to leer. Marjorie. Uh, only the 1980 entry. Okay. Uh, Cristina is born on December 18th in, in New York. Cristina is born on December 18th in New York. Okay, good. Marina Amaya, 1988. Cristina, first appears on television in Star Search, a television talent show. Yeah, Christina first appears on television in Star Search, a television talent show. Thank you, Marina. 1992, Luis Alfredo. Christina is on TV in this nice new Mickey Mouse club with Bernie Spears and Justin Timberlake. Yes, Christina is on TV on Disney's new Mickey Mouse club with Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake. Okay, good. Jennifer Nusset and then Consuelo, Consuelo Enriqueta. Christina records all I wanna do with Keiso Nakanishi, a Japanese pop star. She tours Japan. Yeah, Christina rec records, I'm sorry, records all I wanna do with Keizo Nakanishi a Japanese pop star. She tours Japan. Consuelo Enriqueta, 1998. Okay, teacher, 1998. Christina sing a song for the Disney movie Mulan. Mm -hmm. Christina sings a song for the Disney movie Mulan. Thank you. Isaac, okay. 2001. <laughs> Along with other singers. No, 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 no. Sorry, sorry. Uh, no, 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 no. It's uh, 1999. I'm sorry. Okay, I okay. No problem. Okay. Christina had her fear bit hit uh, genuine a, in a bother. Christina has her first big hit, Genie in a Bottle. Okay. In a bottle. The song, Genie in a Bottle. All right. Thank you. Uh, Luis. 2001. 2001. Along with other singers, Christina records Lady Marmalade for the movie Moulin Rouge. Moulin Rouge, okay. Along with other singers, Christina records Lady Marmalade for the movie Moulin Rouge. Okay. Thank you. Juan Antonio Brand, the next one is yours, which is in 2002. Christina be performs at the closing ceremonies for the Winter Olympic Games in Salt Lake City, Utah. Yes, Christina performs at the uh, at the closing ceremonies for the Winter Olympic Games in Salt Lake City, Utah. Okay, that's good. And uh, the last one, 2004, what do you have?
2004, volunteer, please. Oh, bueno, lo leo yo. Ok, Marina Maya. Cristina wins the best female pop vocal Grammy Award for Beautiful. Cristina wins the best female pop vocal Grammy Award for Beautiful. Okay, there you go. And you have some pictures right here. This is Cristina at the Olympics. This is Cristina's first hit, Genie in a Bottle. She looked very different, <laughs> okay? And uh, this is Cristina, second from right on the, the new Mickey Mouse Club, okay? So there it is. Here's Cristina right here. So overall, Cristina Aguilera is thrilled by her success. It's been quite a roller coaster ride, she laughs. I simply love my job. So do all Christina's fans. Okay. So what are we going to do here? Read the article, then number these sentences from one first event to eight, the last event. I'm going to help you with the first one because we don't have much time. So the first event is, she is born in New York. What will be the second event? What will be the second event? What will be the second event? You know the answer? Please raise your hand. Marjorie. G. G. She's on television for the first time. Okay. That is correct. Yes. Okay, thank you. Very good. What about number three? Marina. F. She works with Britney Spears. That's correct. Okay, very good. Okay, what's next? Mm -hmm. Marjorie. E. Letter E. She travels around Japan. That's correct. Very good. That's that's event number four. Great. Thank you. What's number five? Quien nos ayuda? Number five. Ada Veronica. C eight. Okay, yeah, that's number eight, definitely. But what's number five? Eight. Uh, not exactly. Okay. Yeah, uh, letter C is number eight. That's correct. Eso es correcto. Okay. Pero ¿cuál es la cinco? That's number five. That's what we're looking for. Uh -huh. La cinco. Number five, yes. Let's see. Brenda Lee, Stephanie Brenda Lee. Uh, but in English, come on. Okay. D? Letter D. Yeah, that's right. So, yeah, she records a song for a Disney movie. Isa Isaac, number six. Isaac? I think... You're thinking. Um, I think. Okay. She got her there is excess of so um there are age. Age. Yes, she has her first very successful song. That's good. Thank you. What's number seven? Miguel Antonio. Hey. Letter A, yeah, she sings at the Winter Olympic Games. That is correct. Okay, good. And uh, the last one, Ada Veronica, what is it? Number eight. <laughs> letter C, right? Yeah, uh, letter C, eight. Yeah, totally. She wins a Grammy for Beautiful, the, sing the, the single Beautiful. Okay, good. I'm just going to call the attendance for the last time and then we're going to uh, 
finish the class. Okay, so is Cecilio Antonio Cortez Escobar. Are you here, Cecilio Antonio? I don't think so. Okay. Luis Enrique Palma Alvarado. Is Luis Enrique Palma Alvarado in class, in the class today? Luis Enrique. No. Okay. All right. Terminamos por acá. Acuérdense, por favor, que eh, tienen que ir ya adelantando con la sección número 5 en la plataforma. ¿Verdad? Muy importante que vayamos completando ya la sección número 5 que sería para entregar la siguiente semana junto con el final exam, que también a todo eso vamos a dar el respectivo acompañamiento acá en clase, ¿verdad? Everybody, thank you for your participation, for your... Ok, Pablo, yes. Dígame, Pablo. No sé si me pasó asistencia, teacher. Eh, sí, sí, sí. Ahí está su asistencia tomada. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay. Everybody, thank you very much and see you yeah. on Monday. Not tomorrow. See you on Monday. Okay. No class see tomorrow. You Monday. Bye bye. Have, <laughs> Have a great see day. You see you next Monday. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.